Hi guys, this is Bhakti and you're watching Bhakti Diaries. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a long time that we guys chatted up and I'm so sorry for the delay. Uh, due to Diwali celebrations and anniversary and vacation and birthdays, I could not make it up. But uh, I have it all sorted as uh, there are vlogs for everything that I have been up to this time. Uh, all the uh, all this time. So yes, we are sorted that way. So today, what we are going to do is today I have just finished reading one really nice book, and that is called *The Guardians of Hala Hala* by Shatrujit Nath. It is uh, from the series of Vikramaditya Veerkatha, and it is uh, the first book. It's a series of three, and it's the first book. So this is a micro fiction. Now we all have grown up watching, uh, listening, reading uh, about mythological tales, and we love them. So this one was a really nice read. The author was successful in uh, retelling a mythological tale in his words, uh, recreating some uh, characters. Some characters are uh, which are there are already we are already familiar with them. Uh, so this was an easy breezy read. Uh, yeah, this book intrigued me a lot. Uh, you have a lot of anticipation because uh, there are a lot of. Uh, uh things that are going on in this book uh, there is a lot of suspense lot of drama the plot revolves around hala hala which is a poison uh churned during the samudra manthan between the lords and the demons uh so lord shiva uh had to consume the poison uh in order to safeguard the world from complete destruction so now after that was done according to this book a small portion of that hala hala the poison was stolen by a demon called vishada and hidden in his dagger so this dagger was in control of lord shiva for many years but uh, after that after lot of time he decided to entrust this dagger to king vikramaditya and his council of nine now uh, the gods uh, led by indra and the demons led by shukracharya they want this dagger back they want this dagger in order to get supremacy of power in the universe so what steps they are going to take uh, the book this book follows what happens and what how do how does this war ensure how does Vik, uh, vikramaditya save uh was successful in saving or not saving the dagger how what are the steps that uh, the gods and the demons take what do they do uh what all scenarios unfold so this book is all about that and more because this book um i somehow think that this you know book reminds me of game of thrones because uh i'm a game of thrones fan seriously but believe me i'll just show it to you as no sooner than you open the book you are greeted the author has given a map okay uh, there's a map in this book here you go if you can see it yeah so this is a map and uh, this map shows us lot of kingdoms uh, which are there in the book uh, vikramaditya is the king of uh, avanti is the emperor and all the other kingdoms are uh, his allies and uh, he is the stronghold of the whole of uh, the all the whole kingdoms and uh, how uh, does this uh, decision of saving the hala hala or saving the dagger uh, you know impacts everything else then there is another angle of the tribes of sakas and hunas who are attacking there are a lot of small stories going on in every kingdom and the beauty of the book is that you know the author is successful in uh, uh, you know weaving all these tales together in one big plot and it's like a beautifully done work uh, there is no stone unturned uh, there is nothing that is scattered the sketch the all the characters uh, new or old are etched out beautifully there is a background there is a genuinity so it's like really good have a look so just after the map the author has also given us the glossary uh, of the character and a small sketch of them so you are already intrigued before reading the book you are already in the book you get a slice of what's to come and you just want to dive straight in the book so it was a, like a really good read uh, it was intriguing uh, there is all angles which are there in this book like uh, there's love there's lust there's romance there's um, then there's family politics um there is allies there's friends there's loyalty uh there's everything there's wars and the crux of it all comes to boils down to one thing and that is um the supremacy of power 
so this book is all about that and i'm sure you guys must be remembering vikramaditya there are a lot of books written on it there was also vikram and betal which we grew up watching i really love it and the success of this book is so that after reading this book i feel like going and reading all the vikramaditya books i feel like watching vikram and betal and i'm going to do that i'm going to do that so i'm going to do that and plus it's like so good that um after reading the book i still want answers because this is just the first part the second part is the conspiracy at meru and i want to get my hands quickly on that book and read it because there are there is so much unanswered and left for the remainder two books uh, so this is like a full suspense full drama full paisa vasool kind of a book and um, i really liked it uh, there is lot to be answered like what happened to the maruts where did they disappear uh what is going to be shukracharya's plan what step is going to be taken by indra then uh, the love interest of the king that is uh, vishakha uh, she is ill and she is uh, in deep slumber never to wake so is the king uh, uh, successful in uh, curing her will she ever wake up and love the king and uh, you know be there for the king uh, what at what price will the king be ready to pay that price does he love her that dearly and uh, is he successful in saving the hala hala what happens about the tribes what happens about the kings and the greed to uh, expand their kingdom what happens about the alleys do the uh, bond still stays and uh, there are so many questions there are so many questions so uh, what happens to the half brother of the king vararuchi uh, there is more than what meets the eye about that person he is hiding some secret so what are they So there are so many questions, and I really like this book. The writing is fluid. Uh, you, it's a page turner. It's an easy read. Uh, it's a mythology simplified. It's in a simple version, uh, and I really enjoyed it. I would rate it highly, and I would recommend this book definitely. Um, so that was all. And one more thing, I just forgot to tell you guys. I'm a very happy bunny because the author himself sent me a personally signed book, as you can see. Yes. So I'm a happy bunny and I love reading this book. I recommend this book. So if if in case you are looking for a mythological read, you can very well get this get your hands on this book and read it. That was all from me today. This is Bhakti signing off. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.